shadow of judgment. Hello. We got water and earth left. Who's going to be the ones that get their shadow of judgment today? What is shadow judgment for newcomers? This is where we look at the nooks, the crannies, the circular curves, the corners. And what might or might not be hidden from you. Things you might not know about, things that might be conspiring in the dark, things that might be happening on the subconscious, the astral, maybe even your shadow side. We'll get to see who we're reading for. Unacceptable. <laughs> no, we just, no. Water! There we go. Because we already did air and fire. Water! You guys are up. So, Cancer, you're up first. Let's see what's going on for your week. This is for the 12th to the 19th. This is for a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter water signs. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's a card game after all. It doesn't work if you don't believe in it. You're trying to walk away from something in order to make yourself have a cancer. Look at those cups. But, because there's a lack of taking a leap of faith. You don't have faith in something. You don't want to try. And we have the Ten of Swords reverse because it's kind of like you did it to yourself. Okay, all right. Are you feeling guilty about something, Cancer? Because you shouldn't. Never feel guilty about stuff you did. You know, like my whole motto in life is I'm never going to die with the regret. I only have one regret, one I'll never speak of. But I I'll be damned if I ever die with any sort of regrets. Fuck that. I did what I did, I've done what I've done, and I'm going to live life the way I need and want to. Don't ever feel like you ever did anything to yourself, okay? You're very sweet, precious people, and you deserve people to love you just the way you deserve, okay? Okay, let's continue. Um, yeah, you don't have any passion to move towards this, because it's like, uh, 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 uh. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> um, you want some truth before you take a leap of faith. Yeah, you, you don't want to fuck yourself up without knowing what to do first. Okay, I got you. But still, don't ever let anybody make you feel like you're a piece of shit. I'll beat their ass for you. I promise. Just send me the dress. <laughs> I'll waste the money. I don't give a fuck. Well, probably not. That's a hollow um, guarantee, so negate that. But still, it's the sentiment that counts. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Cancer? Let's see. Emperor, I'm gonna pull one over here too, because it feels good. Oh, god damn. Okay. <laughs> okay, my bad. I'm sorry for laughing, but Jesus. Mmm. Cancer, I think you're in love with somebody, but you don't know how to express it? That's weird. Like, y'all are, like, all about emotions and expressions. Kind of because you guys come off as moody a lot of times, but that's just how you are. Because you need somebody to, like, show you some lovin's and perk you up. Like, you're that one sign who just, like, if someone builds you up, you can do anything that anyone tells you. And it's, like, it, like it's so adorable. Like, ah, uh, Like, I want to wrap you in one of those snuggy blankets and hug you to death. I don't know. It's just that's just how I feel about cancer. You guys are just fuzzy and loving all the time, and it's like, oh, you're precious. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, dude. So like, first off, in the middle, you feel like you might have fucked yourself, so you don't want to make a hasty decision because when you look back on things, you know things didn't go quite well. You know, the emperor who is reversed is actually looking to this tower. Just being like, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Why? Because somebody walked away. But they had no passion in the walking away. And it just kind of became chaotic. Their leap of faith comes from wanting the truth, but it's like because they didn't take a leap of faith, like the truth never came. And they spilled their cups, and that was like the tower right here, Cancers. It's like, um... It's like... You want to make sure before you go back, because 
when you left, it was kind of like, you know, like, I, I've been telling you all about this magician. Like, I, I don't know how many times, but it's like, that isn't the magician I'm talking about. It's more like, um... Someone who just wasn't paying attention to what they were doing or didn't care enough because it was like they were slightly out of control. Maybe, and that's why everyone's falling out of the goddamn building. You know, just fire and shit and all that stuff. It, it just someone fell asleep. That's all. Someone went ninety nine. Oh. That's all. Mm hmm. Oh, cancer. But yeah, that's your shadow of judgment, kids. Actually, let me pull one more card for you, cause like, or something. Oh, you guys are gonna be so fucking pissed. Okay, y'all are like looking at- okay, look at this. You might be looking at this like a control, but you're looking at it through the lenses of emotions. Emotions of which you are really, 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 really pissed off at this tower. It's like you're in disbelief. And that disbelief is just triggering you and just being like, ah, oh, nothing's happening here. Be very careful, Cancers, because it's like, you guys are, uh, like, Mars is in, like, the sun is in your sign, something about Scorpio, some other shit, because I'm not good with astrology stuff, right? But it's like, you guys are very emotional right now, so try to take your breath. Scorpio! You guys are vengeful as fuck, apparently! <laughs> From that reading I did for y'all. All sorts of crazy tasty, right? Let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. This is your shadow of judgment, right? You're not waiting for nothing. You are not trying to come together with somebody. Could be a Sagittarius. In fact, you are trying to get the fuck away from this possible Sagittarius. Someone you really don't have any sort of connection to whatsoever. Like trying to thieve away and shit. Um, someone could have been an unfaithful spouse, overbearing mother. Um, this person who you don't have anything in common with is like, you're still your happiness. Could also be Leo here as well. So I'm up with this person because that's like, two major arcana? Yeah, you're trying to sneak away and not give shit. Like, you don't even. But it's like this person doesn't have any love. But you're not giving love to them anyway. This person over here is burdened. You're just looking for your happy ending. Because time has been wasted. And nothing has been given. Okay. Scorpio. You're a shadow of judgment, right? Hmm. You're not waiting on somebody who I think could have cheated on you or was or trying to tell you what the fuck to do. Trying to um, establish perimeters and shit on you that you just weren't having. And it was like, you recognize it was a place not out of love. Like, they refused to give you love. Unless you gave them what they wanted. And I think you picked that up because it was just like, this is a waste of time. I'm not hanging out here. I'm just going to keep dragging my feet if I'm in this position. And you're sneaking away from somebody who's your happiness, but it's like, they, they, uh, they're, they're trying to get over a burden, and I feel like they take a lot of something out. If it's not on you, it's on other people, but it's like some, they take stuff out somewhere. It's like they're not conscious enough to recognize. Then over here, someone's sneaking away. That's probably you. Because you're looking for your happiness, but it's like you're going to this person who really doesn't have any love to give you. But just a set of obnoxious rules, which I think you won't have time for. But the only reason you're going that direction, possibly, is because you're not getting an offer from this person who's very overburdened by things. I'll tell you to decipher that. Alright, that was yours. Pisces, you're up next. Crazy little alien people, you 
Yes, yes you are. I like to think of Spicies as furry animals. Like pets, like little like teacup chihuahua or a really fuzzy kitty. And it's just like they purr or like it just rub on you. I don't know. Like I, I have fuzzy stuff on my brain today. Oh, Pisces. You're trying to get away from the fucking devil because it's driving you fucking crazy. And it's making you a little bit bitter. You're just not entirely sure about how to do that in the right method. It feels like you are suffering some shit on the brain that you feel like some good has to come out of all of the suffering. That's why you guys think of a lot of things. Even for terrible things, you guys always see the silver lining on shit. I appreciate that. But it's like you're suffering and you're really hoping something good will come out of this. You may be bitter because you feel like you've been betrayed. But it's like that betrayal is lingering a little longer than what you want. And it's making you feel like it, it's keeping you stagnant. Like Emperor's not even paying attention. Could be a, a, a divine pairing. Like this dude is like unsure about how to get out of unhealthy relationships and he's not even paying attention to the fact that, you know, you might not be feeling too terribly good right now. That you might need him. He's basically, like, not noticing you. And what you need. So you're taking that shit that's, like, driving you crazy and you're trying to go into the future with a, a hopeful eye. I feel like. You're being enthusiastic even though things are terrible. And don't worry, this, uh, yeah, this stuff's gonna end. Could be dealing with a uh, Scorpio right here, right? Also, both Aries, also Libra, Taurus, and Leo, Capricorn. You know how we do. Well, I'm not a Scorpio, but you know. I'm a Capricorn, so... Let's see. We got securities. And we got Queen of Wands. Alright, Pisces. You shot out a judgment this week. Someone's trying to come out of a nasty um, connection with the dark side. With the devil. They're trying to get away from those toxic things and healthy things. Things that kill the soul, right? They aren't sure about it. So they're kind of turning a blind eye to this empress up here. You could be in a divine pairing, so take this as you will. Crosswatcher, same thing. Switch them up if you want to. But this Empress is really mad because she's been suffering, but that suffering's going to come to an end, right? Things are going to be killed off so she can be all empressy like Whereas this dude, he's turning his eye, he's doing so for security. He's just like, oh, well, if she's suffering, I guess I can't help her, but it's like he's letting her suffer so he doesn't feel the need to, um... No, 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 no. Like, she's suffering, but it's like, as long as she doesn't move on away from him, he's cool with it, and that's like the security, right? Meanwhile, you know, you're losing sleep, and it's like, you're trying to, um, think of this as a justification. Like, there's always a rainbow after a storm, and you're moving on to the future with that. Keeping your head held high, not letting things drag you down or make you feel old, right? That was your reading, Pisces. Everybody else, thank you for watching my video. Um, like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course. If you want a personal reading, the details are down below. First one's on the house, of course. Thanks for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.